Oh, I don't want to say that. Look what it says. It says winter is coming. It is coming. No, though. but it's October, Heather. <laughs> it's coming. What? Oh, I wore a coat find... today. Uh, oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> uh, warm weather destinations are calling, I guess, if winter is coming. Great to have Heather uh, Greenwood Davis back on the show talking about, um, I think we've got three spots that you're kind of highlighting today. Yeah. And then we want to get to where you're going next because that's pretty, uh, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Uh, are you a beach person? I am a pseudo beach person. I like to see it. I don't need to be out on it, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people love to go to the beach. Okay. And I think a lot of people go to the beach and then forget that people actually live around the beach. And we need to also think about, you know, the art, the history, the culture that is happening in those spaces. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. NASA Bahamas. Yes. It, it has a, does it have a rep? It has a little bit of a reputation of being, um, Listen, there are 700 islands in the Bahamas, and a lot of people go directly to Nassau. And then all they're seeing a lot of the time are these big hotels and casinos and duty-free shops, and they sort of get lost in that circle. Mm -hmm. There is more to it than that. I was there recently, and I was at the St. Regis Nope, I wasn't at the St. Regis Bahamar, I was at the Rosewood Bahamar. It's one of three properties at this huge Bahamar complex. And so it is, here. yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. But what I loved about it most of all, it and it too, it's on the beach. You've got the food, you've got the spa, you've got butler service, you've got flamingo yoga, which I did which is really so weird. like goat yoga with the flamingos? Except it's the flamingos and oh, they, they're go. moving around you. You kind of have to keep an eye on them, but there are handlers. But what I loved about uh, the Rosewood is that they also have a tremendous art collection. And I mean, not just a nice painting on the wall. They have more than a hundred original pieces inside the hotel and they have a guy, that's him, John Cox, who they call a placemaker. So he is, they do this in most of their hotels and he is of the island. And he can, um, he's going to take you around, he's going to give you a tour of the place, he's going to give you some hands-on workshops you can do. It's absolutely stunning. This property, I can't get over, like there were so many pieces I wanted to take home. Bermuda. I always get Bahamas and Bermuda <laughs> kind of mixed up. Right? You're, you're not the only one. So right? Bahamas, Bermuda, Barbados, all those B islands. Yeah. The trick is, Bermuda is actually more the weather of like North Carolina. So if you were going to Bermuda looking for Barbados tropical weather oh. you're not going to find it so that's an important thing to know but a lot of people also go to Hamilton in, when they go to the Bermuda which is sort of in the middle in the south I went to St. George's in the north it was so fabulous they have a property the St. Regis there's the St. Regis mm -hmm. St. Regis that popped up there in 2019 it came later so it's next to this gorgeous fort Fort historic uh, Fort St. Catharines. You're 15 minutes from the town of St. George's. It's the home of the Bloody Mary. So you're going to do a cocktail class. But my favorite, favorite, favorite thing about St. George's was a tour I did with Kristen White. So she takes you in. She shows you the history, the culture of this place. Um, she's taking you into original homes. She's taking you uh, to the UNESCO uh, spots that are on the UNESCO slave route. It's just an incredible, you're on foot, you're on bike, and you're really getting a sense um, of the place, which I loved. And she's got a bookstore, a bookstore there called Long Story Short, which I think is an amazing name for a bookstore, um, <laughs> where you can uh, pick up some more information about the area. It's just a fantastic way to get to know Bermuda. Okay, last one. New Orleans. Yeah. So, who not you, Mardi Gras. Maybe not Mardi Gras. You are not going for beads or beignets this time when you go to New Orleans. This time you're going for history and it's so timely. So in December you're going to get the Dew Drop In. So this is a restored hotel that used to be on the uh, Negro Motorist Green Book. So the Green Book, people will be familiar with the movie where uh, black people had mm -hmm. to stay in segregated hotels. This was one of them. Ray Charles. Uh, James Brown, Aretha Franklin, Tina Turner, Otis Redding are all people who came through there. Little Richard actually wrote a song called The Dew Drop In. He also wrote Tutti Fruity while he was there. So it's just historic. They're reopening in December. Can't wait to see that. And the second is the World War II Museum is opening their final pavilion next month. It's called the Liberation Pavilion. And they say it's uh, all about the meaning and cost of American and Allied victory and war's enduring legacies so timely right now with everything we're going through. They're going to be talking about the Holocaust, the civil rights movements, fight for freedoms and democracy, all sorts of things that we can talk about. Okay, now. we only got 30 seconds. Do you sure. have to be booking these now? 
Yes. If you want to yes. get these in, get Some these, of get these, these now. That would be a good thing to do right now. Okay. For Where sure. are you going next? I am going to Churchill, Manitoba with an eight year old to see the for most ferocious beast on the planet, <laughs> polar bear. So hopefully we make it back from that. And then I'm going to Guana Island in the British Virgin Islands, oh. which has only, I think, 35 rooms okay. or something. We, we love Fantastic. to follow your adventures. You can too, at by Heather GD. Uh, get set, go. go. See you tomorrow. <laughs>